Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'm gonna be ranking a bunch of new makeup that I've tried. This is the makeup that I basically tried in the month of May. So the newest things that you've seen on my channel I'm not gonna be ranking today because I'm still trying them out but I have a lot of products here in front of me that I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on. So if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Marley. I love reviewing new makeup, I love testing out new things, but I also love using my collection and keeping myself in check a little bit and keeping my collection a little bit curated. And I just generally really love makeup. I just love playing with makeup, wearing makeup. Makeup just gets me so excited. So if that sounds like something for you, don't forget to subscribe. I usually upload about two to three videos a week. Often it's more than three. And I would love to see you again on my channel. So this ranking, it was pretty difficult. And there are some products, it was really easy to like put them in their place. But there are some products here that really competed with each other towards the top so i feel a bit unsure about this and just remember like when we get to the really good products it's mostly a matter of my taste and what i'm most excited about we get to a point <laughs> we just get to a point where nothing is really bad but when we get there i will tell you let's get into it so in the last spot i put this kiko eyeshadow palette from the fruit explosion line if you saw my video then you know that i hated this i really didn't like this the shimmers are so dry so extremely dry you can't really get it on your eyes and they get hard pen so Fast. like I used one shimmer once and it immediately got hard pen and this is just not worth the money I tried it a few times after that to try if I maybe just like the mattes if I could maybe just use the mattes and just leave the shimmers because okay there are still some matte eyeshadows in here but every time I did a look with this I just didn't love it. I just didn't think it was great quality. I just didn't think it worked great. I couldn't really put my finger on it with the mattes. But in the end, every time I did a look, I just didn't like how it looked. So maybe it is the lack of pigmentation. They didn't really pack a punch. But I just don't think this is a very good eyeshadow palette. And I would definitely skip on this. I think there are other eyeshadow palettes by Kiko that are better quality. And probably after this video, I'm just gonna declutter this. Okay, so next up, we have something from the Kiko Milano Dolce Diva collection. I tried out a lot of Kiko Milano. This is the SPF lip balm. This is the SPF lip balm. It has pretty cute packaging. It looks like this. It's quite a nice product, actually, but there's just one con to it that I can't accept that i just can't live with that makes it not work for me at all this has an spf in it like the center of the lipstick bullet is like spf and when i put this on my lips i get a really weird taste in my mouth when i taste it it's just not nice it's not comfortable to wear it's just a bit gross and like you're kind of eating spf like when you accidentally get a little bit of spf in your mouth that's how this tastes the whole time you're wearing this so it's not something i want to wear even though the color is pretty cute it's like a nude shade it has a sheer shiny finish to it it has a little it adds a little bit of color to your lips so next to that it's a fine product it didn't blow me away but it's fine but the fact that it tastes like that is just a no for me if you're not sensitive to those things at all maybe this is something for you but it isn't for me. I couldn't get on board with this. I tried it a few times, but then I was like, I'm not gonna wear this anymore. Okay, next up, we have the Kiko Milano Watermelon Pearly Lipstick. This was also from the Fruit Explosion line. This lipstick, this is kind of like a taste thing. This is a metallic lipstick. One thing that 
bothered me about this is that the promo pics look so much different from what this actually is what this actually looks like this is so metallic on the lips and then on the promo pictures it looks a little bit more creamy a little bit more subdued but this is really shiny and metallic if you like a really metallic lipstick then you might like this but i don't find the shine that this has to be really flattering and to look sophisticated i feel like there are kind of like two types of metallic you have the cheap looking ones and the ones that kind of work i don't mind wearing a metallic lipstick once in a while there are a few in my collection that i quite like but this effect that this that this gives on the lips what you end up with i don't think looks really flattering and really like sophisticated and nice i didn't like this effect it's a really thin formula it's not hydrating or anything it's not gritty it's like a fine lipstick i don't really mind it it does smell like watermelon it's pretty cute packaging but it's a little bit cheap on the cheap side so i really put this toward the bottom because of the effect it gives on your lips in the end i just don't think it's very pretty it's very nice i don't like it i don't think i'm gonna wear this more i tried it with a lip liner but i still didn't like it it's just a bit too frosty and icy for me i don't really like that on the lips next up we have this kiko milano mood boost so from another limited edition by kiko milano i bought the mood boost born to shine lip stylo and this is in the shade 02 this is quite a light rosy shade and i do really Really like this formula but i just felt like it didn't really work with this color it's a pretty light shade and this just kind of clings to dry patches on your lips and my lips aren't even that dry but when i wear this it just doesn't look the most flattering and this is one i can kind of make it work if i don't put too much if i use it with a lip liner if i'm kind of careful with the way i apply it it's a pretty nice lipstick i don't mind it but the fact that it's a little bit finicky that i kind of have to be careful with this one if i wear it that puts it towards the bottom it's like fine i'm not gonna throw it away i'm not gonna declutter it i'm probably still gonna keep it around for the effect that it gives me after i've worked with it a little bit but it's not an easy on the go just throw it on lipstick i just have to see what i wear this with maybe blot it down a little bit it's like it's like fine next up i have the fruit explosion maxi bronzer by kiko milano once again basically all the products that i tried were kiko milano i tried so much by this brand so this is a bronzer that looks like an orange and from this one on we get into the like quite all right pretty good category didn't hate it don't really have a lot of negative things to say about this so this bronzer has a pretty cute embossing it has a pretty cute color and it smells like orange which which is kind of fun it doesn't happen a lot that a makeup product smells like orange so i used this a couple of times and every time i used it i just felt like it was a little bit it was like not pigmented enough but i don't always mind that i sometimes do really like a non-pigmented bronzer if you can kind of build it up and it still gives you a really nice effect but i just feel like the effect of this one it just isn't as smoothing as other bronzers that i have it just doesn't make me go like oh i look nice and bronzy once i apply this i can't quite put my finger on it but i just don't think it's very smoothing so when you build it up it just looks a little bit uneven maybe not like extremely uneven but it's just not when i wear it that i'm like this is amazing i look amazing it's like fine the effect is fine it's just an okay bronzer i just like something to be a little bit more to be a little bit more pigmented to give me a little bit more or to give me like a really smooth and natural effect and this one doesn't do any of those things so that's why it's more towards the bottom so next up i put this kiko milano watermelon creamy lipstick this one is also from the fruit explosion collection and this one is in the shade 03 it also has the watermelon packaging watermelon scent this is a pretty cute rosy pink lipstick i actually quite like this one it's quite creamy comfortable it feels nice on the lips but it does stay on quite well when you eat something when you talk it kind of 
wears down a little bit but there's there's still some pigment left it's like it's not transfer proof it's really creamy but it still lasts quite a long time on the lips which i really like it's a cute pinky color but it's not like extremely special it's just a nice lip color i like it it's a pinky shade i have to wear it with a lip liner because it's really bright this is just one it's a bit lower because there are other things here that are just a little bit more special just this is just quite a basic creamy lipstick that feels nice holds up pretty well yeah it's just a pretty good lipstick one thing though that i didn't love as much is that this color as well kind of clings to the dry patches it looks a lot better than that other shade it looks pretty good but when you get really really up close then you kind of see it clinging to some dry patches even though you didn't know you had any so that's kind of like the color of this it's so light and then that kind of happens so it's not the most flattering lipstick ever but if you don't get like super up close then it's really nice so next up i put the colourpop lippy pencil in the shade ashton i never tried a colourpop lippy pencil before and, and i thought it was about time that i did so this is a really nice cool toned color and i really like this one it's a bit on the creamy side it's not as like stiff as some other lip liners that i have so that is something you have to like i quite liked it i felt like it stayed on long enough and i didn't feel like it was really hard to apply is it my favorite lip liner formula i don't know about that i do like my lip liners a little bit too drier still easy to apply but a little bit drier so they are a little bit more long lasting and a little bit more precise but for the price that you pay for this one i actually really like this one this is just a really good product it's just not as exciting it didn't impress me as much as some of the other things here so next up i have the laura Mercier blush color infusion in the shade passion fruit this has a pretty nice packaging pretty luxurious with a magnet and then the shade itself is like a warm pink it's quite like toned down but still like a fresh shade i really like this blush it's really pretty it's a little bit powdery but it's still like easy to blend easy to apply it's not too pigmented it's just a nice blush it's easy to work with i liked it when i wore it i don't really have anything negative to say about it it's just <laughs> it's just not as exciting to me as some of the other things that i have here in front of me but it's still a really pretty product i would highly recommend it it's it's a nice formula and i and i would maybe like to try one more color of this but i have a lot of blushes right now i bought a lot of blushes so that's something for in the future but i actually really enjoyed this one and from now on we are like we are only basically talking about favorites about things that i really really liked so from now it's like i could have in another month i could have ranked this number one if i hadn't tried as many things i could have ranked this number one but it's just the things that this one has to compete with that made it rank a little bit lower next up we have the fruit explosion eye pencil i got this one in the shade five and this is a pretty bright teal shade i think this packaging is really cute i wore this a couple of times i wore it in my waterline it stayed on very well it was really creamy to apply really easy to apply but then it really stayed on even though my eyes were quite watery so it's really waterproof in the waterline also it works really well when you just apply it to your eyelid as an eyeliner on the top it's just it just really glides on it's just really easy to apply but then it really stays on it's just a really long wearing and i really love this color it's so cute it's just such a bright teal this is a great quality eye pen so i think this is really really good and i think maybe it would be worth it to check out some of the other colors because i could use some new eye pencils in my life but this one is really really good so this was the month that i really started getting into cream products and actually most of the cream products ranked really high so that says something so next up we have the mood boost three in one all over stick i use this as a cream blush but you can also use it on your lips i don't really feel like doing that i have lipsticks this is shade 04 this is a really nice kind of rosy shade that isn't too bright 
This is just a really pretty creamy blush. It's easy to apply, it's really easy to blend out and I can just use my regular blush brush for this. This is a really cute color. I think the product is just so easy to use. It gives a really nice creamy effect to the cheeks. It's not like extremely shiny or anything. It's just like a satiny sheen. It looks really natural. It looks really nice. This is just a really nice cream blush for me. I really enjoyed it. Next up we have the Colourpop Blue Moon eyeshadow palette and I was a bit unsure where to rank this because this is great quality. This is a great eyeshadow palette. I mean, I did a video doing a look with this, trying this one out, and that look was just so good. I love the shades in here. I love the undertones that these blues have. This quality is just top notch. This is just a really, really good Colourpop quality, and I'm glad that I have this one. It's just not as exciting as some of these other products because I expected that. This palette has been out for a while, and I've seen some really, really good reviews on this. I've heard some people rave about this. So this didn't surprise me. It's just exactly what I expected. It's just a really good quality palette. It's just a nice color story. I love that I added some blues to my collection. So I highly, highly recommend this one. I really like this Billie Jean shade in the middle. It's kind of like a blue, purple, gray kind of tone somewhere in the middle of that. And it's a really nice shimmery eyeshadow. It has a really nice shimmery textured effect on the lids which I really appreciate. Okay, next up we have, I think, one of the big surprises of the month. This is the Saw Body Bronzing Balm. When I first opened this package, I was like, oh no, I don't know how this is gonna work for me. It's so dark, it's so warm. And then I tried it and I actually really enjoyed it. I feel like the color isn't perfect, but it can make it work. But the formula is just so easy to apply. It's so easy to blend out. I love the natural effect on the skin. This is just a really nice bronzer. And I just keep reaching for it. And when I do that, then I just know that I really, really like it. And that it's a really, really good product. I feel like if this had just a little bit of a different color, then maybe it could have been higher even. But... I have to take that into account. I can't use this like with every look, every day, with every blush. I have to be a little bit careful. It can get a little bit too much, but I can definitely make this work. I think most times it just looks really good on the skin. There's just something about this bronzer that's so effortless, even though it's a cream. I just wish the bronzers, their cream bronzers were a little bit more cool toned. If only they did like another line that had a bit more of a contour undertone or a cool toned undertone. I would really love that. But I think this on its own, like this product is already really great and just get excited to use this i've just used this a lot of times this is just a great bronzer and i think if you like a warm cream bronzer then this is a really good one and i think you will really enjoy this i would highly recommend it just keep those things in mind by the way it also smells really nice and summery like coconut or something it just smells like summer so yeah really really like this one so i actually have two juicy blushes from the fruit explosion line by kiko these are liquid blushes i have one in a more corally shade and i also have one in a more nudie mauve shade i first tried the corally shade out in a video and i loved it i love the effect on the cheeks it is really like juicy a bit glowy which i really really like and then i thought i want to try more i want to I want to have some options in this formula because I just really like the formula. So I also got the mauve one. So these are liquid blushes. I just put a few dots on my cheeks and then blend it out with a brush. And I feel like that works really, really well. They dry down pretty fast, but you still have time to work with them. I do do one... Um, I do do one cheek at a time. I don't put the product on both cheeks and then start to blend it out just to be just to be safe, you know. So these aren't sticky at all. They have a nice amount of pigment, a really beautiful effect on the skin, really nice and glowy, healthy. I just think these are really pretty blushes, easy to use. I feel like they still wear pretty long for a liquid blush. I didn't really have any problems with it fading really easily. I just think these are really, really pretty blushes with pretty colors and I just really enjoyed using these and reaching for these. I just feel like 
like they are really convenient because they are so easy to work with and because they are not sticky at all but still give you a little bit of that glowy effect by the way that Sol body bronzer also really dries down it isn't sticky it doesn't stay like really creamy on the cheeks or that anything sticks to it of course you will feel that it's not a powder product but it's still like set down and you don't really have to worry about that too much so next up once again i have two products from the same i have two colorways from the same product from the kiko fruit explosion line after i did my review with some of the products i was really impressed with some not so much but with some i was so impressed that i went to the kiko store and i just wanted to see what else they had in that particular product so i have two of the kiko milano glowing highlighters from the fruit explosion line so in my video i actually tried out the one called coral sunset first by the way they have super cute packaging this is kind of like a raspberry it's super cute and it also smells like raspberry this is what the shade coral sunset looks like i use this as kind of like a blush topper kind of like in between a highlighter and a blush and i thought it looked so pretty this has like a wet sheen on the cheeks it looks wet it looks so glowy and shiny it's just next level this highlighter formula is just so so beautiful when i wore this i was just blown away by how this looked on my skin i loved it and i also think this shade is really pretty it kind of has almost like a duochrome from like from like a toned down coral to a gold which i really really like so then i also got the shade golden dream because i wanted to have this formula in a really highlighty shade for me that would really highlight my skin tone and that wouldn't just work as like a glowy blush so i got the shade golden dream i wore this a lot i wore this quite a lot of times and this is like this is like a champagne or like a really light gold with a bit of a peachy undertone so it's not like the most basic champagne that you could think of so i really liked the look of this color in the store and i just really wanted to have another shade in this highlighter formula because it's so glowy and so just pretty on the skin it just looks so good it isn't like shimmery it isn't like really shimmery but it's just so glowy and just looks like your skin is wet i feel like these are some of the most glowy highlighters in my collection and i'm just so impressed by these i just really really love these they are amazing i would highly recommend checking them out and they're also not too big they are quite small so they're easy to travel with easy to take with you you don't have you don't immediately have like a big pan of highlighter in your collection and i believe these are only like 10 euros so we have come to the number one spot so on number three three we had the liquid blushes and on number two we had the powder highlighters and on number one we have another kiko product that really blew me away i did a video about these pretty recently and i just think these are amazing these are the kiko milano dolce diva glam cushion highlighters these are liquid highlighters and they come in like a tube like this they kind of look like the charlotte tilbury highlighters that everybody raves about but they're always sold out so that's why i was pretty interested in these and that's why i wanted to try them out and i think these are just amazing this is a shade 01 this is really like a highlighter this one is like a light champagne liquid highlighter i just apply this with my finger that is it's pretty easy to blend out but this is just a formula that is quite blinding and it looks quite dewy on the skin but it does dry down it isn't sticky which i think is just really nice i just love how this looks on the skin how this makes my skin look is just beautiful it's just gorgeous i feel so pretty when i wear these and this highlighter this lighter one you can really build up to be quite beaming then i also got another shade this one is the shade 02 this is kind of like a warm pink shade a little bit bronzy this is also just really glowy it's just i use this as like a really glowy blush and it just gives the most beautiful effect to the skin it makes your skin 
just look so healthy, so summery, so glowy. I don't get this effect with any other product in my collection. With the other cream products that I've tried, I felt like you can see that it's a cream. It's a different type of effect on the skin. But the effect is not that different from powder products. It's like a bit different. It, it blends into the skin in a different way. It looks a bit more creamy, not as powdery. This is an effect. This I think you won't get with powder products. These are really worth it. I think these are just the most beautiful creamy products that I've tried. And also just using these two together, the blush and the highlighter gives your cheeks the most dewy, wet look it's so glowy so if you want a liquid a creamy liquid blush that really will give you a dewy look like a really glowy look then i would definitely recommend checking these out i believe they are like 13 euros and i think that's really worth it they are just gorgeous and it was so easy for me to put these in the first place i feel like they really deserved it they just kept me so excited and they just really add something to my collection that i didn't have before. So that was everything for my new product rankings. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products. Do you agree with my reviews or did you have another experience? I always love hearing about that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!